Hello and welcome or welcome back to True Seekers Tea. My name is Kate and I am thankful to have you here watching this reading. I'm very excited to do this topic. We're going to be doing how your person is coming off to you or what impression they are projecting and how you're perceiving them and basically what they're showing to you versus um, how they actually feel, what their actual truth is, um, kind of seeing if this person is wearing a mask or whether or not what you're seeing is what you're getting. So we're gonna be looking into whether or not the way that they show how they feel is actually how they feel. Um, and we're just gonna see what they've really been projecting to you. So we have four piles for you to choose from today. Um, I'm just going with the tarot decks today, so um, go ahead and pause the video to pick which deck you resonate most with. For pile one, we have the tattoo tarot deck. For pile two, we have the moon power tarot. For pile three, we have the modern witch tarot. And for pile four, we have the black tarot. So take as much time as you need. Um, it should be a pretty good energy check-in um, while we're doing how they're coming off to you or what impression they're projecting because you'll probably recognize your person. That's the way you would most know your person. Um, so that'll be part one of the reading. And then for part two, we'll be getting into their truth and seeing how well it matches up to the impression that they're giving to you or what they're projecting outwardly. So I will be starting with pile one and I will have the timestamps time stamps <laughs> linked down below. So you can just go ahead and skip to your reading. So I'm excited to get into this and I'll see you at your pile. Hi pile one, if you chose the tattoo tarot deck, then this is going to be your reading where we're first gonna be looking into what impression you're getting from your person, what impression they're giving to you, um, what they're kind of projecting outward right now. Um, first, and so that should be a pretty good indicator as to whether or not you feel like this is your person. And then we'll be getting into their truth and maybe the things that um, are unclear or they're not really letting out, basically. So we're going to be looking at their true feelings, their true intentions, basically doing a deep dive into what this person's showing you and what they aren't showing you, and basically what impression you're getting from them, hopefully to clarify any illusion or any confusion that you may be having about your person. So um, right before I started filming this, I decided to pre-pull some oracle cards, which I am going to lay out, but I'll be doing the tarot um, live. I just did that to save time. I'm going to do that for both um, the part one and part two. So I'm ready to get into it. Let's see what oracle cards you got. So the question I was asking um, Spirit was, what impression is Pile One's person giving off to them? Um, what are they projecting outward and what impression are they really giving right now? So, okay, we have shared tenderness here in reverse. We have frustration in reverse. We have butterfly in reverse. We have debilitated um, discomfort. We have change here in reverse. And then we also have hypocrite coming out. So I'm going to lay these here and I'm just going to use these to supplement the reading basically. Let me just get a good... Good arrangement. All right. Okay, so the first thing that I am just picking up on just from the Oracle cards alone is that I feel like this person um, gives this impression or kind of projects that they can't necessarily be completely open to this connection or there's this energy... Um, of some sort of transition that they're trying to make in their life or it's almost like they may um withhold intimacy from you almost because um there's an energy of false promise here or this energy of this person being like i can't be completely open to this connection because of reason xyz okay and so like there's almost just this energy with frustration and discomfort it's like they give off this energy like the reason why they can't do certain things to this connection um, is because it's going to happen at some future date almost. Or they almost act like they have things that they need to handle or this person comes off to you as someone who 
almost um, contradicts themselves sometimes with this hypocrite here. And there's energy of them kind of feeling like there are challenges in their life that kind of give them an excuse to not be super emotionally open here. Um, but there's this energy of maybe them avoiding really stepping into like a certain role in this relationship or there's this energy of them really avoiding um, maybe extra responsibility in this connection or commitment. There's almost just this energy of them delaying progressing this. It's like there's a stagnant energy with them um, and there's a feeling here of like with this hypocrite, it's like, are you really meaning what you say? Like, it's almost like this person says one thing and then it's kind of like, okay. Like, I feel like you kind of catch this person in their BS sometimes. Like, there's just this energy of like them thinking that there are very genuine reasons or like they try to project that there are like issues in their life or like very genuine reasons as to why they aren't as like open to this connection in a way, but it's almost like there's a feeling of unfairness with this person and the way they project themselves. But I'm going to get into tarot and it'll kind of all come together. I'm going to get this into my tea first. I'll get a little more clear into this with the tarot. So, Spirit, what um, our impression is Pile 1 projecting, Pile 1's person projecting to Pile 1? What impression are they projecting outward right now? What impression is... We have the two cups here in reverse. Yeah, makes sense. All right, I'm gonna, I might have to rearrange these, but we'll see. All right, what impression is Powell One's person projecting Powell One? Five coins. This lack mentality for sure. The six of swords in reverse. Yeah, again, there's that transition like this energy of like this pessimism almost or this energy of like I don't I can't make this better or it's almost like there's this like energy of them feeling like they aren't as responsible or it's almost like they're pushing off responsibility in this connection personal responsibility um almost with this feeling of like we can't transform because the butterfly came out in reverse and so and changed it too and there's almost just this energy of like pessimism coming through for them yeah we have the moon it's like this person's really letting their fears hold them back or that is the impression that they're giving out is this energy of why try or it's like this feeling that they maybe say one thing but they don't really realize that sometimes they're the problem and this connection is almost like what is cup that's the way that it's at least coming off it's almost like i was wondering if this reading was gonna be more like what are they intentionally projecting but this is more like what impression they're giving regardless of whether or not it is intentional is what i'm getting for that um yeah and there's almost just this energy of them making things difficult or feeling like there's nothing they could possibly do to create positive change in this connection like there's just this energy of pushing off connection and responsibility again i'm kind of just getting i guess i'm just repeating myself there but literally just trying to figure out like a good <laughs> format for these cards right now um okay that should do okay you kind of can't see because the light's too bright but we'll make do okay so okay, let's get some clarifiers for this as well so by now, I feel like you should kind of have an inkling of, as to whether or not this sounds like how your person is kind of coming off to you. Um, but it's almost like they're creating like distance here. It's like they're almost refusing to make things better. It's almost like they say one thing, like with the hypocrite thing, it's almost like they, like I'm trying to give an example of it. It's like, this person may not realize how much they could make change in this connection or how a lot of the dysfunction actually like can come from them and there may be this energy of them feeling frustrated or feeling like they're the victim almost sometimes in this connection to their life or you know to the connection depending on different situations or maybe they even sometimes project onto you that like you know 
they almost have their own internal fears about this connection and about intimacy and about just kind of going through the difficult um it's almost like this person's running away from real challenge and real resolution like there's almost just this energy of them kind of projecting that there is no way forward but it's actually like their own fears um and almost their own personal deficits i would say as to why this connection is struggling i almost feel like right now with this two cups in reverse um but they're they're just really projecting this energy of like it's not my fault but it like feels like it very much could be resolved that this person had a more positive mentality or um you know was more willing to see that maybe it's their subconscious fears that are kind of causing them to sabotage this connection all right why is the two of cups here in reverse the three of pentacles yeah it's like come like yeah sorry there's just this energy with the three of pentacles like they're acting like there's no way through this or there isn't really a way to like work together almost and it's almost like it's so much more of them and like their their energy and their lack of comfort in facing difficult things and getting to the bottom of things it's almost like this person maybe runs away from conversations um taking action um different things they do to kind of avoid responsibility that could really be beneficial for this connection because it's almost like spirits indicating that there is potential for this connection or at least um yeah just for in general the connection to be in a better place than it is right now but it's like this person is very much projecting this no can do energy like why is the five of coins here yeah strength in reverse yeah it's like this person is acting like they don't have the capability or um they're not rising to the occasion here and it's like yeah they're just projecting this like lack of teamwork energy or this lack of um if this person was more open to it, I feel like there's a lot of healing that could happen here and a lot of collaboration that, and I feel like you guys could get through whatever like issues you guys maybe are having in this connection with this two cups in reverse. I feel like you guys aren't seeing eye to eye and this person is not really taking responsibility or seeing themselves clearly um, as to what's wrong. And it's almost like maybe they criticize this relationship or criticize certain things that's wrong with it, not realizing that they're leading to their attitude towards this and the fact that they're hiding from some things they're very much avoiding things and almost not seeing that that they are more a root of a problem than they they are i guess thinking or projecting out yeah the devil mm. yeah there's just this energy of them really not taking accountability okay and very much taking the easy way out um and they may even have they have their own patterns and habits and ways that are just very much um toxic and it's like they don't really see how they are very much caught in toxic patterns like and that is a part of the reason why it's not this connection they're not developing as a person and they're not developing within this relationship like the reason why this relationship isn't able to get better or like progress is very much due to this person's you know bad habits and, and lack of self-awareness really and lack of following their heart it's like this person isn't following their heart and it's almost like they're acting like it's like they're not taking the route that's more challenging but more fulfilling like that's what this person is doing is avoiding doing that and they're almost like convinced that they're doing the right thing though but like i feel like that's very much the devil's energy it's like they're taking the shortcut they're going for instant gratification but in the long run, it's more detrimental to their mental health and like to this connection. It's like there's just this energy of them thinking that they're like in the lover's energy or like that they're very much true to themselves, but like they're really not. And if anything, they're using like thought patterns and habits and just ways of being that are very much avoiding challenge and avoiding their fears and avoiding doing real internal work. They're like really not even trying to do that and they're and it, what's worse is that they're almost like acting like there's nothing they could do about that you know but there is there's so much more that this person could really do here yeah we have the hermit here in reverse and then the six of coins yeah it's almost like with this sheer tenderness and the six of coins it's like what this person is really having to do in this connection more than anything else is just like be reciprocal in a relationship and be open to the give and take of energy here right 
And there's almost though this energy of them failing to do that or refusing to do that towards you. It's like they are acting like there's reasons why they can't just be balanced in this connection and do the same work that you maybe are willing to do. But I feel like with this hermit here in reverse, I'm getting two messages with the moon in reverse. It's like this person has a lot that they're avoiding reflecting on. Like, I feel like this person really needs to spend some time in self-reflection and like figure out um, how like this person's lacking self-awareness like and they're lacking doing the inner work right um it's almost like this person is really um would really benefit from truly being honest with themselves and taking time out and not just continuing their process like there's almost this energy of this person like continuously doing things the same way subconsciously from fears and um just tri it's like this person almost doesn't realize that they're in this um that they're stuck you know like the devil's energy very much keeps us in a place where we're not transforming or growing and then there's just this very stagnant energy and this lack of willingness to progress past that energy um in order to avoid having to there's almost this energy of them not admitting that they are the ones that are not really doing their fair share in this connection. And the way that they're avoiding responsibility for this is almost continuing to, to do the same things as they've always done it and ignoring the fears and the problems and kind of blaming it on circumstance or just not really taking responsibility, you know, finding excuses to as to why they are giving up or they're not giving enough or they're not being they're not willing to like you know do the hard work for this connection they're not willing to take time to reflect on themselves and figure out maybe ways that they are contributing to the issues in this connection or the the frustrations that they feel this person almost blames how they feel and like their lack of satisfaction in life like on other people or on circumstances this person lacks self-responsibility um, and so whenever they reach challenges, there's just this energy of them almost refusing to see that maybe they're not doing their fair share. Maybe they are the ones that are not really being willing to like work as a team, um, with you. Okay. So that's very much the energy they're projecting off to you. I'm very interested to see, um, what their truth is or like if there's any difference within, um, you know their true feelings for the situation um we're going to kind of uncover maybe more of their subconscious fears and like the reason why they choose to project out this kind of stubborn and difficult persona to you you know like we'll dig deeper into their true feelings what they really want like what is their mo like what's going on with them so i'm gonna um clean this up i'm gonna pull some more cards um so just to save a little bit of time and then i'll be back with the second part of this reading all right so now we're going to be going into what your person's inner truth is um, regarding their energy towards this connection. Like, what is their actual MO? What is their actual truth about this? Um, I feel like a little bit of it started to come through, but we're just going to go in a little bit deeper. So I just pulled these Oracle cards. What I got first was the Fox in reverse, Party Leader, Passion in reverse, Anxiety in reverse, Star Climber, and then Juno Partnership in reverse as well. And then Star Climber. So, okay. What's coming through for like who this person is and like what their honest, like objective truth is, what I'm getting is this person truly isn't someone that is a very loyal or committed partner so the fox talks about someone who is very much committed and very much um loyal and a very good partner we also have partnership that came out in reverse here okay and so there's almost this energy that they may try to make it seem like like what we were picking up is like it's almost like they make all these excuses as to why maybe they aren't a good partner but the truth is is because they aren't you know and so with this star climber and this um, party leader, there is this energy of them very much, um, and what I'm getting with this star climber is a little bit different than like the traditional um, book definition. It's more like a social climber is what I'm getting for this person. 
their energy is very much driven um, from a lack mentality in a place of fear. And so it's like there's this feeling that it's like their passions are misdirected is what I'm getting. There's this energy of a superficiality, superficialness of this person where they may go into relationships um, for the wrong reasons or they may not be able to take relation commit to them and um, be a good partner because they are kind of looking for their next fix of attention or maybe it's like they with this anxiety in reverse it's like they're trying to relieve this inner I'm hearing self-hatred which is like intense you guys like again this is on a spectrum um I was just like listening to a reading I thought it was a really good way of explaining um general readings it's like your person could be um, on a spectrum with how intense this energy is, but this person could be very subtle with this, or this could be like something that causes them to um, kind of use people in a way. You know, this could go from them not be really being super aware of it to them almost even using people. Like, there's an energy of them very much caring what people think about them. Um, and this person has an ego, and so, like, there's just this energy of like if things go wrong it's almost like they just want to kind of climb to the next peak instead of fixing that like let's say like on this ladder like one of them breaks you know this they're at, right here at this ladder and it breaks they're like okay i'll just go up to the next layer then i'll go to another i'll just keep trying to find my way up until i like find my satisfaction oh my god that song's coming through push me na, 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 me till i can get my satisfaction but there's this energy of them very much looking to the external to find their like energy and like self-confidence and like they just love to be seen you know but they may use relationships for the wrong reasons you know like i feel like there's an energy of them not going into relationships for the right reasons and this being confusing obviously because it's like then they I this person is difficult I just have to tell you guys so um I hope you're putting in boundaries with this person <laughs> but let's go deeper into it with tarot and see how they're actually feeling and what their true energy authentic energy is like towards the connection and who they really are basically what their true energy is like all right spirit how one's person what is their truth is their authentic truth in regards to this connection and who they are. We have the sun in reverse. We have the world in reverse. You want to know what's coming through? This is funny. Um, the person from Jimmy Neutron that can never finish anything. I can't remember his name. Um, but I'm getting that energy. Like, there's an energy of that. Like, the person that, like, you know, they, they'll, have, they'll have a bunch of passion. And, like, I feel like this person can be very, like, charming or very interesting when you first meet them and it's like i feel like they really draw people in um but there's almost this energy of them never finishing what they start you know it's like they're not dedicated judgment yeah lack of self-awareness for a fact you guys lack of self-awareness you guys this person does not seem to have a clue about why they do things and again there was this energy like you know how i was saying it's like this person will like wreck havoc in people's life it's like it's like they start something with someone and then if it doesn't work out they kind of just act like they there was nothing wrong with them during it and they just move on to the next thing it's like they never they kind of if this person is someone you're not talking to i feel like this is someone who would be confusing for you because i feel like they would come off so like different in the beginning and i feel like you would never expect like how much this person like very much can just abandon things and not feel like remorse for it and it's almost like this person just keeps going and going to avoid this like fear and pit and like slight self-hatred that they have um and so there is kind of this false false projection that this person may have had to you especially in the beginning you know i feel like we got more of like how you're feeling about them now and how they're projecting themselves out now but I feel like in the beginning, you might see this person as someone who seemed like a good time or someone who was entertaining and like they may have even complimented you a lot, like for some of you guys. But there's just this energy of them caring way too much about how they're being seen and caring a lot less about the quality of their relationships and the true reciprocal nature of them. It's like a lot more like they're just following what at that moment is going to make them happy. But then it's kind of like they don't finish what they started, you know? 
um, they don't feel like they have to. Like they almost don't feel that self responsibility, or they don't feel they don't feel guilty. They don't see anything wrong with themselves, but it's almost just this general lack of awareness that this person really has. Um, what else, Spirit? Okay, with the King of Swords here in reverse. What is this person's authentic truth in this connection? The moon, yeah. They have so many fears that they, like, don't realize that they're running away from. They never finish anything because as soon as something gets difficult, they just shove it down. You know, this person has so much they need to work on, like, in the subconscious. Like, it's literally not even funny, like, how much this person, like, is not in touch with their shadow this is like someone who i feel like very much does not tolerate spending time reflecting on their shadow you know what i mean so it's like i feel like it takes self-awareness and it takes like self-compassion even too to be able to sit down and really reflect on yourself and be honest with yourself about things you know what i mean so you can grow as a person and so i can definitely see why this, i feel like the impression they're giving you is like really not far off from their truth it's almost just like a deeper explanation as to why this person's this way but just to give you more information this person's like this with everyone and like i feel like there's a need for you to know that like there's literally like nothing wrong with you in this situation like besides needing to make sure that you don't over to this person like maybe it's a lesson for you in that way but i feel like this person keeps a tight Boy, I feel like I was saying something. I want to go back to it. It's almost like this person very much has this huge shadow self that they don't see because they keep just looking for more light. You know what I mean? They never feel like it's... They just keep looking for more and more light. You know, the star climber and this party leader. It's like this person is like, well, you know, I'll find my gratification from another person. It's a very empty, like, lifestyle. And this person lacks genuine connection with people too. What else is this person's truth? I feel like I'm kind of wrecking this person right now, but you know, I feel like some of you guys maybe need to hear this. Yeah, we have the six of cups here in reverse. There's so many like situations that this person has done this with, like with that six of cups. It's like, I feel like this person very much lacks self-awareness about their previous um, emotional connections. And like with this judgment in reverse and like the six of cups in reverse, it's like, this person really lacks awareness about like the past and what's gone down this person almost refuses to reflect too much on the past and almost keeps moving forward in a way that is very much robbing them of the opportunity to engage in self-growth and the opportunity to take to you know give closure to relationships and really give people like emo they don't they just try to avoid it they try to avoid this sort of I'm hearing like jar of hearts now, but like there's almost just this energy of them like finding people that they can just do this again with. It's kind of like this energy of them moving on in that way. Um, King of Swords here in reverse. Yeah, there's an energy of them over intellectualizing. Um, it's like they don't let their emotions penetrate their mind is what I'm getting. It's like they keep their emotions very much bottled up. And I feel like it's almost like dangerous for this person because it's like, I feel like they very much act from this place of not having their emotions influence how they think, you know, basically. So it's like this person almost has, doesn't see the issues with the way that they are. Um, and they kind of just continually wander um, around with this false sense of righteousness and validation. Um, because there's such a lonely experience going on within them um and it's like this person they're not interested their truth is is that they're not interested in true engaging in true relationships because relationships act as mirrors to us and they cause a lot of self-growth and so i feel like what you need to know is that 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 this person isn't able to really engage in relationships because they lack a level of self-awareness to be able to people trigger them, you know what I mean? As soon as things get to a certain level, they just get triggered by this person, like maybe calling out something about them or kind of, you know, relationships show you where you need to grow, you know, like every relationship does that. And there's this energy of them refusing to learn those lessons within relationships. And because of that, it's like, 
they don't see themselves. They live in this very superficial layer of existence where it protects their ability to not take responsibility or feel the pain of their mistakes and take responsibility and grow and become a better person. You know what I mean? So it's like this person just really keeps themselves um, stuck, you know? And I feel like this person, it, I don't know. I honestly feel like this person is far from changing their ways, you know? So, um, yeah, I hope that this is helpful. This ended up being a little bit shorter, but I feel like it's just coming through very clearly. So, um, I, since there's a lot like extra time, this didn't really go too long. Let's look at some advice about this from spirit. I'm sure that you want some advice, um, for yourself about this connection. Like, what do you need to know about it? I feel like that could be useful. Where? Okay, let me just get another deck real quick. Here, what advice do we have for Pile 1 following this connection? Like, what is the best thing Pile 1 can really, like, go from here? Like, yeah. What message do you want to give Pile 1? It's most useful to hear right now. So much came out. Okay, it says, give with gratitude and grace, see the big picture. Transformation is beautiful. Okay, I feel like what Spirit is saying is to not let yourself get stuck on this person um, and then don't, I, okay, what the, the message coming through is Spirit saying, be careful to not let this person block your own transformation um, and let this per don't let this person's energy permeate into you you know what i mean because there's almost this energy of feeling like wronged by this person what obviously makes sense or feeling like you've given this person so much that you're just like i want that back like and there's this energy of spirit warning you to not get too caught up by seeing the bigger picture understand that in the big picture you're better off cutting your losses and understanding um in the future making better being more discerning with people um, and kind of understanding that it's fair to be angry about this and it's fair to want like an apology or want your energy back, you know? And I feel like that's very fair and I want to validate that, but be careful to balance out that energy with realizing that it could even be holding you back. Like almost the need to not let this person do any more damage to you by feeling like, you're waiting for something from them or wanting something more from them. And almost sometimes the lesson is like people do suck that much sometimes, you know? And I feel like spirit is very much, um, asking you to not let this block your own transformation. Um, but to very much acknowledge like the situation at hand, but I also feel like you may be learning a lesson about not overgiving um and very much being aware of the energy balance in relationships and acting accordingly and being discerning if that makes sense um but you may be hanging on to this or, or it's kind of hard to progress past this because it's, it's kind of fresh it's very frustrating this person <laughs> um what other advice do we have for pal one we have rock bottom here in reverse. Yeah, this person may have really dragged you down, okay? Like, this almost, I'm getting, like, narcissistic. I'm not, obviously, like, I'm not, like, a, you know, person that can diagnose that. But there is some traits of narcissism that this person had. And so, there may be a part of you that feels just, like, this person may have really taken a toll on you. But I feel like Spirit's almost saying, like, you will get out of this. Um, and there is no going further than that. Like, Spirit's trying to tell you, like, I don't know why I'm laughing. Um, I don't know. But with this rock bottom in reverse, it's like spirits wanting to w tell you that it's not going to get worse than this, like where you're currently at with this person. And in the future, you will see how this was meant to um, build you up and, and meant to teach you a valuable lesson, you know. Um, but with coming to life here, I feel like spirits very much saying like this person cannot drag you down any further and you will be we have a butterfly here and a butterfly here and i feel like spirit's saying in the big picture you will understand what role this person had but i do feel like you were learning a lesson about um it's a tough lesson but almost the lesson of not everyone will have your best interest in mind and not everyone will be equal in relationships and spirit's saying you're gonna feel so much better once 
better times are ahead very much for wants to say that and um trying to forgive or not saying that what it was 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 okay but i feel like processing the anger you have towards this person but trying to see the lesson in it and seeing how in the long run you will eventually feel like that had an impact on your life that was a horrible way to learn a lesson but in the end i feel like you will see how that changed you as a person and how it put you on a better path because now you kind of learn more about discernment and never getting into a relationship like this again or never kind of giving this person giving people more than what they're giving you for any reason um yeah that's what i have for you um pile one i just want to send you a big hug i'm sorry you've been going through this but um things are only looking up from here and um you obviously didn't deserve this but everything happens for a reason and i feel like you did learn lessons about discernment through this connection um so yeah if this resonated or if you found it interesting please do hit the like button it does support my channel so thank you for everyone that does that um leave a comment i do love to read them and if you're not subscribed consider subscribing i'll be posting um two about two to three videos per week so i'm hoping to see you at the next one and have a great rest of your day hello pile two if you chose the moon power tarot deck then this is going to be your reading about what impression your person is giving you what they're projecting outwardly how you're perceiving them um, what they're really putting out there energetic wise um, versus their authentic inner truth, what they're really feeling, what their true energy is like, um, just so we can clarify any confusion, any illusion, um, and really see um, how this compares to how, what, oh, sorry, I just kicked the camera. <clears throat> how they're, um, the way they're projecting themselves to you, is it truly what's going on internally, basically? So, just before filming this, I pre pulled some oracle cards to supplement the reading. So I'm just going to lay them out and then I'm going to go into tarot as well and just channel whatever comes through in the meantime. So we have the Anima Animas. We have the South Node Past. We have Triantula. We have some Mother. Peace in Reverse and Endurance. Okay. So just what's coming through from these cards is that this person is coming off with the impression that they are like trying to, um, they're trying to integrate their past and figure out who they are right now is, is the vibe I'm getting. There's this energy of them searching for peace and searching for fulfillment and having gone through things in the past that um, have served as challenges for them, but it's almost like now they are in this energy of fighting for their peace and trying to balance out um, themselves as a person, okay? Um, there's an energy of them feeling stuck within something in their life right now and this feeling of them trying to get to the other side. There's an energy of feeling held back or tied down by their past um, and this feeling of trying to break free or step into a higher um, self and step into a higher purpose in their life with the triangula. And um, yeah, there's just this energy of searching for peace, um, fighting for peace even, breaking free from um, their past, okay? And trying to become a better person. So that's kind of them as a person, the overall vibe I'm getting from them as to what they're projecting outwardly and maybe the way you perceive them right now as a person. So um, I am gonna get to tarot and we'll continue to um, incorporate the Oracle cards. But I'm just gonna pull some tarot for, um, all right, so what is pile two's person? What impression are they projecting out to pile two? What is their energy coming off like? What, yeah, what do they seem like to pile two? And what mask or image are they putting on, putting out right now? Um, in regards to the connection as well. And just who they are and like whatever else comes through. All right. Okay, this is the three of wands here in reverse.
We have the Three of Cups in reverse. There's an energy of them not being happy with where they're currently at or what progress they have made thus far in their life. There's a lack of... They feel like their life has been unfulfilling in some ways up until... I don't know if this is, this is something that you would know, though, because it is like what they're projecting outwardly. They may have lived a somewhat unfulfilling life um, with this Three of Cups in reverse. They may have overindulged at some points. Um, you may know this about them. They may be someone who... Maybe has felt like they've kept themselves stagnant in life um, at times and they almost are in this energy now of like wanting to realize a higher potential for themselves or a more meaningful life. Um, let's see what else though. We have the five of cups here in reverse. Yeah, so they may have had, um, this may be someone who frequently um, talks about the past or ruminates on the past as well. Um, they may feel like their past holds them back for some reason. That feels like a common theme or they feel like they, they're on a journey in some way. But like with this five of cups, there is this energy of them having a hard time even leaving the past in the past though. Um, what else? This is the six of wands in reverse. They may have lacked confidence in themselves um, or they may have been like afraid of standing out throughout their life. And so there's almost just this energy of this person coming off as someone who maybe is trying to bring more authenticity and wisdom and purpose into their life and kind of recognizing that maybe in the past they've held themselves back um, by valuing certain things. Um, or they, there's just this energy of this person feeling like they've held themselves back. Um, all right, we have the five of swords. And so that can also talk about like self-limiting beliefs, okay? And so there's almost this energy of this person feeling almost guilty about their past too, or feeling constrained by their past. They may have felt like this person maybe in the past may have been someone who um, engaged in a lot of like overindulgence or like maybe went out a lot or like wasn't taking their life super seriously is what I'm getting. Um, but also kind of recognizing that they haven't gotten where they wanted to be. And they're almost not proud of the person that they've been is, is kind of what I'm picking up on. They have regrets is what I'm feeling. This is the seven of swords as well. And then the star here in reverse. Yeah. So the way this person comes off or like the way, the vibe that I'm getting from them, um, this is someone who wants healing, but feels, um, sometimes like they don't know if things will get better. Like there's just this energy of them wanting to find more balance in their life and wanting to find more meaning, um, and healing, but um, with the seven of swords and the five of swords, this person, they may struggle with, um, overthinking or like their self image. There's just an energy of them having doubted themselves and having felt like they maybe weren't going anywhere in life at certain points. Like there's just an energy of regret from the past and this feeling of maybe having lie to themselves about who they were in the past um i want to clarify the seven of swords so i'll keep the star here as well though um why is the seven of swords here what's the seven of swords telling us about the impression that they're getting off all right this is the five of wands I'm just going to tap into this a little bit. So we have, we have multiple fives here as well. Um, five of, five of swords, five of wands. It's almost like there's a feeling of regret for not having started listening to themselves and trying to be authentic to themselves sooner in life. Okay. Like that's how I'm, the impression I'm getting from this person as to what they're projecting. There's this energy of them feeling like regret for not tapping into their authenticity sooner um, and maybe holding, letting fears and the way other people see them hold them back from really stepping into their truth and their purpose in life. So it's almost like this reading is feeling more about like this person in general and who they are. You know, I'm almost picking up that for some of you, this, this definitely can be someone that um, you're in a romantic relationship with, but I feel like we could extend this to any kind of a relationship. But the impression that this person gives you is that they've let a lot of things hold them back. They've let a lot of fears in their life hold them back. And 
this is something that they regret and something that they do want to change. Um, yeah, they just have the past and regret holds this person back and holds them back from reaching their potential. And I feel like that's even still happening. There's a feeling here of this person truly desiring more authentic growth, more authenticity in their life, a higher path, but that also this energy of them in this transition of breaking free with this mother card, it's almost like there's this energy of them letting other things control them or feeling powerless to redefine their lives um, due to regrets from the past or maybe feeling like it's too late or feeling like feeling like this person could have been better. And so I want to like kind of bring some other energy here because, you know, this could be an energy that could go across different situations. You know, you may have even had a history with this person and they have regrets for who they were in the past to you. Like that's something that I'm getting. Or if this is someone you just met, I feel like you would know them as someone who may talk about how, um, you may just perceive that this person has like kind of skeletons in their closet or has like thoughts of themselves that aren't really super positive. And I, you, I feel like you can see how this holds this person back. Um, yeah. And so with it, I'm trying to tap into this energy here with this, this is like a lover's energy here as well. Yeah, and if this is a romantic connection, I almost feel like your presence in this person's life wakes them up to more of their purpose or wakes them up to realizing maybe your your presence in their life has really woken them up to what they've been sleeping on or what they haven't been realizing. And so I do feel like you've had a profound impact on this person. So I feel like this is definitely someone you know pretty well um, or just had like a deep inner energetic connection with this person is what I'm getting. Um, but this is how you view them. I feel like this is how the impression that they give off to you. Um, and so now I'm going to be looking at their genuine inner truth and how this um, compares to the impression they give off. And this hopefully was a good way to figure out if this was the person you're thinking of or someone else that you were interested in learning more about. So um, I'm going to clean this up right now. I'm going to pre-pull some more Oracle cards for their authentic truth um, as a person and towards the connection as well. Um, because I'll, not as much came up. If I was going to ask about like what happened in the connection, I feel like this is someone who would have had regret about the way that things had gone in the past between you guys. And they would have had regret for not under stepping up sooner and not being authentic to themselves. And with this uh, anima, anima's energy, there is a feeling of divine counterpart energy here or this feeling of you waking them up to what they need to integrate into themselves and then you may be triggering realizations for this person about the way that they've held themselves back and maybe things that they've been avoiding looking at. It's almost like you've revealed some of those things to them um, is what I'm picking up on. And you even almost renew hope in this person to get to a different place or to, to change the past, to do something different. But there is a feeling of wanting to push forward and wanting to create a different narrative. This person wants that. Um, and I feel like you've been an influence of this person getting to that point where they're seeing themselves more clearly, um, seeing maybe ways that they've wasted time or ways that they haven't really um, expanded upon their potential. Um, in a meaning, it, maybe they put off certain like careers that really would have been like happy for them in this lifetime or where it really would have been fulfilling on a soul level for them. It's almost like you wake up this person to the deeper truth of their soul. Um, so again, that's more just kind of impact. If I am more asking like what, what is their energy towards you and what energy impression do they give off to you? I feel like that is what I'm getting. There's a sense of regret and a sense of, um, yeah, and so, or crying over spilled milk is what I'm getting here, but there is also a recognition of what needs to be done. And so this is maybe someone from your past, um, too, with this south node, just as kind of a potential clue here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go into the other part of it. Now we're going to look more deeper into this person, like what their authentic truth is right now in life and towards you um, genuinely. So 
um, I will be back in like no time for you guys. All right, so now we are going to go into your person's inner truth, um, what is actually going on with them, um, and how that is comparing to the impression that they are giving you. So let's get into it. So we have the lizard, the one who needs to control in reverse. We have grieve in reverse. We have introspection in reverse, and we also have happiness in reverse, and then metamorph here. So I'm just gonna find a way to lay these guys out. All right, so what is coming through as this person's like authentic truth? And you guys, by the way, my camera is shaking and it's because of the air conditioning unit in the window it like shakes everything so i'm very sorry i just don't have a solution for it so i hope you can ignore that or it's not too bad but anyways what i'm picking up from these oracle cards is this person um has a very genuine soul i just want to say the first thing is that i'm picking up is that and i feel like this person has let um people in their life sway them a lot and there's a feeling of potentially them not standing up for themselves or not really being in touch with like who they are and what they really wanted throughout their life um because there's this energy of going along to get along or this energy of giving in to people that had a stronger like opinion than them or maybe cared about what they did so maybe they had parents that were controlling or they may just have felt like they did things to make other people happy and over time like they thought they kind of keep that up to avoid having to go through this change and potentially having to cut some people off in their life is what i'm getting there's just an energy overall of this person really starting to see um or it's not that they're necessarily starting to see, there's just an energy of their truth being that throughout their life they have missed out on self-transformation and more meaning and purpose in their life because of because of holding on to situations and letting situations from their past uh, affect them or an energy of being afraid to push the people away that they didn't feel like served them due to feeling like they were pleasing them or feeling like they weren't ready to stand up into their their truth basically and there's been this transformation process that i feel like this person truly has been going through so i feel like that's very accurate as to what they're coming off like but it's almost like this person's there's like an inevitable change that's going on with them um and a need for them to recognize that they deserve to be happy and they deserve to make the changes in their life that make them happy and the need to accept that letting things go and leaving things in the past and and, and transformation requires that process basically and there's this energy of them maybe having been overwhelmed by that or avoiding that process because of not wanting to let go or or being too emotionally attached to the past. Um, so they couldn't really fully integrate the lessons and move forward within their transformation. So there's just this energy of this impending transformation that they're going through, um, where I feel like they'll feel a lot more at peace and in touch with themselves with the lizard here. There's an energy of them having a lot of um, artistic abilities or like this creativeness, this spiritual knowing that they do have once they're able to kind of get to a quiet place and it's almost like they need to get their environment quiet enough they need less people pulling on their energy less people telling them what to do less people caring about what they're doing so they can really step into the more of an authentic expression of who they are um yeah there's an energy of them feeling blocked um to truly transform to who they're meant to be um by being distracted by other people's energies or just the busyness of the world and maybe they've just been kind of in the matrix or maybe they've just been in this like ongoing cycle of um evading self-reflection but this person's truth is very deep and is very soulful and 
they need a level of um, solitude to let this kind of more discreet and uh, I, I'm hearing sensual, but almost like creative and spiritual aspect of them come to the surface. Um, yeah, so I, I'll let's uh, look more into it. <laughs> Again, though, there is this feeling of them pushing, uh, still resisting releasing the past and stepping into the new. There is still a feeling of, of not necessarily doing that or, or um, for different people it's gonna be different, but there's a feeling of there being delays in this process that would bring them a lot of happiness if they were able to kind of release the past and step into the new, but there is a resistance towards that. Um, and I feel like it is due to different people in their life and. Um, different responsibilities that they may feel in their current like roles or like relationships or work even things like that but all right let's go to tara now what is pile two's person's authentic truth um in general and um their authentic truth in this relationship as well so much we have temperance coming out first there's a lot about balance coming through for this person. Um, I'm seeing the yin and yang, and I remember that this person came off with the um, animus. Uh, I can't say that, but like it's basically like a lover's card too. But there's an energy of this person. Um, th maybe they've been kind of forced more into expressing a more, um, either a more masculine representation of themselves or a more feminine. Um, but there's this energy of them really desiring balance and harmony um in themselves and not always having to be one way you know there's this feeling of them wanting to expand who they are and um align themselves even um but let's get more this this one's kind of deep you guys i wouldn't be surprised if like you guys are more spiritual um but we have the seven of cups here in reverse yeah there's this energy of them uh needing to cut through the illusion um of life and really get to the core of, of what they want and there's a need for them to find enough balance within themselves and enough and enough temperance moderation um and enough peace and slowing down to bring balance to themselves so they can see clearly and they can kind of see through this this fog because i feel like this person may have a lot of fog about what they really want emotionally and this could carry over to the relationship with you um but there's a feeling of them coming into more balance with themselves so they can see through being kind of pushed this way and that way as to what they really want and maybe following things that aren't as fulfilling for them like the seven of cups can talk about when there's a lot of promising things but it's like it's not necessarily everything isn't necessarily as it seems so there's just this element of illusion and almost letting themselves feel enough peace within themselves to not just keep kind of um running on the treadmill it's almost like they they can't see the illusion because it's almost like they don't have enough peace or or space almost even too um they, they feels like they're just in this constant state of like i don't know being overwhelmed not necessarily being overwhelmed but there's this energy of them having a hard time connecting with their inner self and really understanding themselves and doing deep reflection with that 12th house there and coming to conclusions there's almost this need for them to really like take time to reflect on their past and to let it go to grieve it and to understand the meaning behind it and to step into this new chapter and so for some of you guys there may be frustration around this person because it may be clear that they want to step out of something or they want a new life or they want a different like new opportunities and things like that but there maybe is this like reluctancy or this lack of um opportunity that they're getting to really integrate the lessons that they've learned so far all right we have the this is the eight of wands here in reverse yeah there's a need for them to slow down is what i'm getting um, that's what I was kind of getting with the treadmill, like get off the treadmill. And it's kind of like this person keeps going. And that's a part of the reason why they have a hard time connecting with their heart and a hard time stepping into who they would need to be. And I'm even getting who they would need to be to follow their heart to the relationship with you. 
Um, because I feel like the reason why Spirit's talking about this is because I feel like this is maybe something that keeps them from realizing their true heart's desire. It's kind of this cycle that they're in of not really feeling 100% in touch with themselves or really following their heart into who they are. Because I feel like there's an older version of themselves um, that doesn't, that maybe hasn't um, aligned with you yet. And there's just this element of them needing to align energetically with you. And it's almost like this could be like divine masculine energy. Uh, maybe you're divine feminine, but there's almost a need for them to progress further. And so now with this higher font coming out, that's a, exactly the vibe I'm getting from almost this person needing to break free from tradition or responsibilities or group think or following what the group's doing this person is not meant to be like everyone else but i feel like they've been in a life like that they may just be more in the matrix and i feel like they have a hard time seeing the truth of what they really want while they're so encapsulated by uh, like one of the first thing of imagery that came through when i was like tapping into this energy was like almost someone in a busy city not knowing who they are because the city's so rampant you know it's like so much is happening and they're following this very traditional life or this life that maybe that like had been outlined to them by maybe their parents or maybe they just felt like they wanted to fit in with other people but there's this energy of being suppressed by that and really needing to take time out to grieve even who they used to be is what i'm getting as well there's almost this energy of feeling like they have to stay in an old version of themselves but really growing more and more dissatisfied with that version of themselves that they're in um, we have the emperor here coming out next i'm gonna just get this over yeah and there's a need for them to really step up and take control of their own life um, we have the queen of pentacles here in reverse yeah and there may even be people in their life like that are dependent on them or kind of push them into with this one who needs to control and this queen of pentacles in reverse there's an there's a feminine energy coming through of someone who may have been really controlling with them or may have made them feel like interdependent or feel like they can't focus on their own needs while this person is dependent on them it's almost like they need to break free from something too yeah the seven of wands they need to okay there's an energy of this person being suppressed by someone else um it does feel like it's a specific person um or it could just be a demanding like boss it could be a demanding boss it could be a demanding friend a demanding and if you guys aren't together right now and this is someone you've had like a long-term kind of like spiritual connection with there may be like another like female in their life that's like kind of controlling of them and they're really not happy in their life right now and they want to break free and do their own thing and step into their uniqueness but there is this fear or suppression of what they truly want the seven of wands is all about fending off other people's energy coming at you and standing strong in what you believe and asserting your opinion and you're not letting other people influence you basically and i feel like there's just this energy of this person really needing to put in boundaries with people in their life um, so they can really step into their own power um, this person is stepping in from a phase of not being as empowered and maybe following the group and doing what they feel like they should do just based on like society into understanding their uniqueness stepping further into their spiritual purpose um yeah it, this is what i'm picking up for your person um and there is a feeling here of this person knowing that you are you're someone that woke them up is what i'm picking up on woke them up to maybe how they weren't happy in their life and it's something that they can't turn back on, you know, like there's this energy of this person realizing like in the matrix that they've been taking the, the pill that they, they, I feel like this person has gotten a taste or has seen, um, you know, the feeling of when they're in the matrix or like they realize what the matrix is and then they realize real life. There's a feeling of this person continuing to go back into the matrix because there's still attachments to it, but knowing that their destiny is to like get out of the matrix, you know? is what I'm picking up in this person. And I feel like you play a spiritual role in this person's um, progression here. And you may have even set an example for this person, or you may be someone who who lives your life opposite to this. So it's kind of inspiring for this person. Um, yeah, that's what I'm picking up as to like what their authentic truth is right now. Um, I feel like you're perceiving them pretty well or like pretty like spot on for like what their truth is. So I do feel like you guys, pal too, are people that are very intuitive um, and you may like identify as being an empath or um, you may just have been in touch with spirituality, things like that. Um, 
But yeah, that is what I have for you guys. Um, if this resonated, please do hit the like button. It really supports my channel. So thank you guys for everyone that is doing that. And leave a comment. I love to read your guys' comments. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'll be posting about two big card readings per week. So I'm hoping to see you at the next one. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Hello, Pile 3. If you chose the Modern Witch Tarot deck, and then this is your reading about how what impression your person gives off what they project outwardly um this should serve as a good energy check-in as to whether or not this sounds like the person that you're inquiring about but in part one we're going to be looking at the impression or the outward mask of this person and then we're going to be looking more into this person's inner truth their like authentic um, being and anything that is a discrepancy between the way that they come off to what's really going on inside with this person. Um, I am leaving it open for kind of analyzing this person um, within themselves and what they're going through, but also looking for how this impacts the relationship with you. Um, yeah, for pile one, it was a little bit more relationship focused. For pile two, it was a little bit more focused on the spirituality, like the growth of that person and what they were going through and you know, the word they're coming off, what's going on with them. So um, I'm excited to see what it is for your pile. So I just, before um, turning the camera on, I pre-pulled Oracle cards for, um, for you guys. And so I'm going to start off with just getting them out. Um, some of them did flip over, and so I was already getting, like, some messages. It was, it, they're pretty interesting, so... Um, or I like to think that they're interesting. Um... So the first card we have is the third house with communication. We have the golden egg in reverse. We have hyena. So this is kind of like the characteristics of this person. Um, anything about what, how they project their energy, like how they kind of, um, what energy they give off to others, basically. We have self-doubt. We have defeat in reverse. We have passion. Move it over this way. We have Love Grows Love and then the Monstrous Mother. And so the first thing that came through um, was like the movie scene from um, Hook. If you guys have seen Hook, it's like a spin off of uh, Peter Pan and it's like the people version. Um, and there's this one moment where Hook is like, they basically Hook like steals like Peter Pan's children. Um, and there's one moment where like the daughter who's like really cute and young is like, you need a mom. Like, didn't you ever have a mom? Like, says that to them. And so there's this energy of this person um, having a soft spot about them where they almost may use humor and may use, um, they may project out this sort of nonchalant um, energy where they don't really take life super seriously or they kind of don't want to be seen as someone who's like a try hard or someone who um you know takes things really seriously this person could be kind of sarcastic and like there's an energy of them using sarcasm maybe to kind of avoid some inner wounds here that have to do with fears of failure and a fear of really opening up their heart and so it's like there's this energy of this person being very vulnerable um and kind of hiding that vulnerability in a way through humor and things like that. And so um, with Love Grows Love, it's like you may see like the soft spot of this person is what's coming through. It's almost like they come off as someone who just needs like needs to be shown some love. Someone who clearly has a good heart underneath, but they have their walls up and they don't really let people in uh, – to see their vulnerabilities. This person really hides their, is not very comfortable talking about their heart. And um, the golden egg oracle card corresponds to the heart chakra. And so I feel like there's this energy of this person kind of being misunderstood or having a hard time communicating their truth. Like this person is very suppressed in that way. Um, but it's definitely on purpose and there is a feeling here of this person needing to like mother themselves or maybe they weren't shown a lot of support as a kid. And so there's almost this feeling of them not feeling like revealing their emotions is going to bring them love and comfort. And so this person very much puts on this sort of mask that they, they don't, um, 
care too much or like they like to make fun of people you know what I mean and not in like a mean way but like I feel like this person does very much kind of hold themselves back by this lack of taking themselves seriously and taking life seriously it's almost like sometimes they don't really take things seriously enough um, as a way of kind of um, yeah as a way of not being vulnerable and not being rejected this person is actually very sensitive to rejection and I feel like this is kind of why they are this way um, and I feel like with this defeat in reverse, it's just like telling me that this person plays things safe and tries to hide the fact that they're playing things safe with humor, basically, is what I'm picking up from them. And I feel like with this love grows love here, it's almost like there's a feeling of you seeing past these person's walls a bit, like being aware of them being this way. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm picking up so far as to like what impression they give off. Um, I'm going to get some of my tea. But let's dig deeper into that this energy with some tarot. So, all right, what impression does pile three? Have I been saying pile three? Um, I don't know. Does pile three's person project out into the world? Like, what impression do they give? I just saw the nine of wands here in reverse, and like that is giving me the same energy of like having been through a lot and so it's like why even try kind of and kind of just pretending like that isn't the case but anyways let's get more we have the seven of wands here in reverse again there's this energy of them not really fighting for what they want um and maybe missing out on opportunities to really follow their authentic path and really fight for for what they want it's almost like this energy of them maybe not fighting even enough for this connection because it's hard for them to take like anything seriously it's like they don't want to risk um it's, there's this energy of almost you knowing that this person has feelings for you or deeply does care about you, but it's almost like they're too afraid to really fight for it is what I'm getting. We have the Knight of Cups here. Yeah, again, that what was coming through is that this person does have feelings for you, but it's almost like the way that they, like, um, the way they express it is very much through like sarcasm you know things like that it's like they're not very open with it but they do show it. it it is obvious that this person does care for you um we have the queen of pentacles here in reverse what impression we have strength here in reverse we have the fool ace of cups and the knight of wands here in reverse okay so yeah, what I'm getting is that like the impression that they give is that with the Knight of Wands back of the deck here too, it's like they won't be caught taking like passionate action towards you. I feel like this person feels like they really have to hold back on the way that they express their love to you um, and the way that they let themselves experience passion and display passion. There's this energy of them... Um, holding it back you know what I mean it's like I feel like this is someone you're getting the impression that this person like does kind of want to like just jump towards you um and they there's this element of them feeling very comfortable with you too um and there being this new opportunity here but there's also this element of like the queen of pentacles in reverse I feel like representing their with mantras mother or mis mysterious mother in reverse this person feels like they have like mother issues or like they feel like they may have had a parent that like wasn't super nurturing towards them and so it's almost like the way they express love is the way they receive and express love is very much influenced by that um and there's just this deep fear of um rejection that they experience and this kind of fear of really just risking things and being open with their heart it's like they you can tell that this person has a hard time expressing their love and has fears that hold them back, um, definitely. And with communication here, it's like communication is on the table. And I feel like that's like kind of a topic right now with you guys. Or there's a feeling of when is this person going to like openly like express their love for me? Because I feel like they, they do feel this love for you, but I feel like they... Um, they struggle with it but i feel like this is something that they're improving on this is the impression that they're giving is that it's something that they are improving on and 
it's almost like they need to work on just letting themselves follow their heart and follow their passion and not feel stupid. This person almost would feel silly or like feel embarrassed by themselves. You know, this person's like very self-aware. It feels like in someone who almost thinks that like expressing emotions is embarrassing or they may feel like it puts them in a vulnerable position. Um, but there's this energy of the impression that they're giving is that they do have these strong feeling for, feelings for you, but they are doubting themselves and they maybe are letting their fears get to them, but nonetheless, like they have deep feelings for you. Um, and it's a matter of how can, how will this person move forward in this connection? Um, will they overcome like their fears or their, their kind of defenses? Like, are they going to let their defenses down and let their walls come down? There's a feeling of them having walls up um, and almost needing to know that it's safe and that there is something real here. And I almost feel like for you, it's kind of, um, I feel like you just see the best in this person and I feel like you understand this person really well. And so there's a feeling here of um, also guys random, but sorry that the camera is shaking. I don't know if I addressed this already, but it's my AC and like, I just have no solution for it right now. So hopefully you guys can ignore that. But um, yeah, there's just energy coming through that this person comes off as someone who has a hard time communicating their love, um, because of the doubts that they have and potentially because of their past. And there's clearly an opportunity here. And I feel like they are giving you the impression that they have feelings for you, but it's almost like they don't know how to, they don't know how to act on those feelings or something. It's like, there's an issue with that. <laughs> um, I'm going to clarify the Queen of Pentacles. I do believe the Queen of Pentacles is discussing like this monstrous mother card here. It's very similar to me. It's almost like they may feel ungrounded or they may feel unsafe revealing their emotions. They may feel like this puts them in a vulnerable place and it puts them in a place where they could be rejected. And so there's just this energy of them holding back um, or yeah. And then we also have the Ace of Wands here in reverse. They hold themselves back and they try to not show you the depth of their feelings out of fear of rejection, fear of vulnerability. Um, yeah. And so that's kind of, that's what I'm picking up from the energy that this person is giving you, like what impression they are giving to you and to others in general. So, um, yeah, so now I'm going to clean up. I actually don't even feel like I need to clarify the queen of pentacles, but, um, anyways, we're going to go into part two now where we're going to be looking at like what this person's authentic truth is in this connection. Um, and anything that isn't really clear right now, cause I do feel like you're intuitive, but I want to see if there's anything else we can kind of go into detail about, um, as to how this person is truly authentically who they really are and, and what their true feelings are towards you, even though they're giving you the impression that they do obviously care about you, but it's subdued. So I'm going to clean this up and I will be back within no time for you guys. All right. I am back pile three. So, um, as I was pulling these Oracle cards, um, the song, um, I'd rather be a lover than a fighter, fighter. All my life I've been fighting and I've never had no one na, 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 to call home. Like basically this, this thing of like, I'm tired of fighting. Like I want to love. And like, I, there's this feeling of homesickness and being tired of kind of being on the run or something like that in that song. So I'm going to lay out the cards. We have a cosmic egg. We have symbiosis in reverse. Um, I decided to add an additional Oracle card for this. Um, and we got the survivor here and the metamorph. The metamorph also came out in the last pile. We have the heart eater. We have frustration and we have grieve. Rather be a lover than a fighter, fighter. All my life I've been fighting. Aww. Aww. This is cute. Okay, so I feel like this person, I'm like sad. I feel like they've kept them, there's like a sadness coming through and like tapping in their energy, there's a very lonely person um, that I feel like has dealt with their, their emotions and their pain by themselves for a really long time. And I feel like there's very few, if any, people that this person has really ever opened up to and like blown off steam or um, got comfort from throughout their life. This person's very independent and someone who has come up with mechanisms um, of not needing other people, but still struggling with the loneliness of that. And um, 
the feeling of suffering instead of suffering in silence. I found peace to your violence. Anyways, um, I'm one and I've been quiet for too long. They've been like lonely for too long. I feel like that song is very much like this person's vibe right now. And I feel like with the cosmic egg here, I feel like they are kind of, I feel like this is someone who is spiritually in touch, okay? Because the cosmic egg talks about the seventh chakra and there's almost a feeling here of being disconnected from the rest of the world in a way that's coming through and having to hide their frustrations and deal with their difficult emotions on their own and um, having to be, uh, what's the word? It's like, I feel like this person has throughout their childhood had to transform into whatever they had to survive. We literally have survivor here in Metamorph. And so there's a feeling of this person having to have had learn how to not need other people, literally. Like I've already said that, but it's just coming through again. And so with Cosmic Egg here though, it's almost like there's a desire to connect again with the world. Um, and kind of there's this element with grief here in reverse of so much like inner sadness that I feel like this person hasn't truly processed because they've been surviving and they've been in survival mode that I almost feel like this person hasn't had a lot of time to really not a lot of time but they there's a lot of sadness that has come into this person's life due to loneliness and due to feeling like they can't open up with people or rely on people and a frustration that I feel like this person has had to hide you know, to other people. And with the heart eater here, it's like this, it, it's all come out to them. You know what I mean? They very much swallow. They've had to swallow as a kid, even a lot of their issues and not have to rely on their parents, not rely on anyone really. And I feel like that's left to this person feeling disconnected and dissatisfied and, and lonely and sad and disconnected from their heart and other people. Okay. And so with symbiosis here, it's just in reverse. It's telling you that they have a hard time relating with other people and bringing other people into their system and relying on others. It's almost like they feel more comfortable suffering in silence. Again, that's kind of how this person feels. Um, yeah. Wow. I'm going to get my tea. Okay. So let's go into some more tarot now. But there is an element of them with the metamorph here too. There's a feeling of them. There's an opportunity, I would say, especially with you and their relationship with you to find a way to change this survivor identity that they've taken on for so long. Um, with metamorph here, and then I'm seeing like the wings. It's almost like there's an opportunity for freedom if they take it. Um, and by freedom, I almost mean freedom from their isolation and freedom from their loneliness and an opportunity to connect with someone and kind of finally get emotional support from someone. Like, I feel like there's a need for this person to open up their heart and, you know, accept support from someone else. So I feel like that's really all you have wanted for this person is that, but I could see this person pushing you away um, because of the coping mechanisms that they've, they may be triggered by having to open up and rely on others, but it's like deeply what this person wants and needs. Um, yeah. All right. So pile three, what else can we, what is this person's authentic truth? We have the nine of pentacles here in reverse hyper independence. This person has had in their life, a fear of opening up. We have eight of pentacles, eight of cups here in reverse. I mean, sorry, just eight of cups regular <laughs> in an opportunity with you what this is for them, this connection truly feels like a, an oasis and a break from, I'm literally hearing a hell that they sometimes feel like they've lived in. Um, and it's like with this four of swords and this grieve energy and this need, there's just such a need for them to take a break from feeling like they have to do everything alone and a break from not feeling like 
being happy within their heart is something that is necessary for this person. It's almost like they put that priority last a lot in their life. We have the Knight of Pentacles. What is this person's authentic truth? Five of Swords here in reverse. It's like they've had to walk away also from people that they've cared about because, because they weren't healthy for them, which is what I'm picking up on. Justice here. And King of Swords. I'm not surprised to see the King of Swords here. Um, this is someone who has had to rely on intellect and close, has closed down their heart very much. Um, because of emotional difficulties that they've had in their life. You guys, I seriously have an issue with laughing at things that are not funny at all in these readings. Um, sorry about that. But tapping in further, what is their authentic truth? And especially within this connection, there's this energy of this person being used to also having to leave things behind. And it's almost like this energy of this person almost expecting to be hurt by other people and almost expecting to be wronged by others with this justice here. And there's almost this constant need for this person to make sure that um, they, they isolate themselves. You know what I mean? It's just coming through more strongly. That, like with this Four of Swords, it's like there's this feeling that they have where it's almost hard for them to really attach to someone else because they almost expect the worst, or they may just expect pain when it comes to connection. So it's almost like they're this traveler's energy where, you know, they may go around and do different things. Um, sorry, I just saw something out the window and it like genuinely really scared me. <laughs> um, I think it was just like a leaf though. Um, but this person has had to, with survival and this justice, there's almost this energy of this person having to be like the hero of their own story and having to bring themselves justice. But by doing that, again, it's like they've had to really go at things that on their own. Um, yeah, and so with this Four of Swords, it's like this person may almost feel just so much safer dealing with things alone so they don't have to face the pain. This is actually really sad that I have a lot of empathy for this person. Um, yeah, so Knight of Pentacles um, energy here. I feel like this person has had to work really hard to get their independence. And for this reason, that is why they feel like it's difficult for them to really open up emotionally and to take any risks. I remember the fool was coming out and there was this energy of them not really opening up in a way or, or this energy. They play things very safe and this person... They might be an earth energy. They may have earth in their chart. They may have air in their chart. I feel like I've been forgetting to say that, but I'm trying to get better at doing that. Um, they've had a lot to grieve. Um, and I'm hearing, I've loved and I've lost, or you've loved and you lost, but here's what I'll do. I'll take care of you. So I almost feel like there's an energy here of um, that being like them. I feel like whoever Drake is singing to is like this person's energy almost. It's like, this person is just in need so much of someone, I'm hearing somebody, to love. That was not the right tune, but that is, there's just this feeling of this person desperately needing to open up and, and have a good experience with someone and to trust um, that they, they don't have to always go at it alone. Um, yeah, I kind of wish I did this for the other piles, but I'm going to look at like what this person um, what this person wants from this connection right now, what this person honestly wants. Of course they deep down want connection with you, but I want to see like what their honest intentions are for you. What are their honest intentions for this connection right now? Five of Swords. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Again, it's like they're, they're averting disaster. They almost feel like they always have to look out for themselves. You have Page of Cups. They may want to apologize to you. Okay, so this is someone you have a history with, because um, I haven't really been looking too much at like timeline and things like that. 
Um, it's almost like this person wants to apologize for something that has happened in the past, I feel like, between you guys. Seven of Wands in reverse. What is this person's current intentions? King of Cups in reverse. And then the Emperor in reverse. There's a feeling of them having so much regrets um, over maybe something they said or the way that they've treated you because they never want to make you feel bad about yourself. But it's almost like they feel like they have a way of like just hurting the people around them. Um, and with this King of Cups here in reverse, it's like they want to apologize for their lack of emotional, like um, the way that they haven't really expressed their emotions to you. This is something that's like on their mind. And I feel like they do want to open up to you if they can emotionally, but there is this feeling of them very much fearing change and fearing um, being honest almost, or like opening up about um, their feelings, but there, it is on their agenda. Um, it is something they do want to do because they have regrets, it feels like. So this is kind of giving me more context into where your guys' like connection could be at. But I almost feel like with the Seven of Wands here and like the Nine of Swords, it's like this person may have regret not having fought for this connection or not having opened up to you, not having processed their emotions. They may be beating themselves up right now as well with this um, Heart Eater in reverse um, here too. So I'm picking up that this person feels a lot of regret for not championing this connection forward um, or not being as open as they needed to be and not being truthful about their feelings towards you honestly um yeah that is what i'm picking up for you guys pile three if this resonated with you then please do hit the like button and comment down below i love to read your guys' comments and subscribe if you haven't already i'll be posting um, about two pick a card readings per week. So I hope to see you at the next one and uh, have a great rest of your day. Hello, pile four. If you chose the black tarot deck, then this is going to be your reading where we're going to be looking at the impression that the person you have in mind projects into the world, what impression you get from them, um, really what impression they put out there. And then we're going to be comparing that to their inner truth and see if there's any discrepancies, see if there's any like clarity we can give you about this person um, that really kind of talks about their inner workings and how this kind of translate to, translates to what they project out into the world. So it's also a good energy check-in to see whether or not this sounds like your person because we are going to be looking at the energy they very much outwardly project. So um, I'm excited to get into this pile. So I pre-pulled these Oracle cards and, um, sorry, I'm like losing my train of thought right now, um, just before I filmed, just to save a little bit of time. So the first Oracle card that we got was a deer, inside looking out, 10th house authority, we have movement, it gets better, death in reverse. And then we got Hypocrite. And then at the back of the deck was Trickster. And I just felt called to take it also. So let's situate these. Um, but a very um, intriguing energy for you guys, for Pile 3, for this person. Um, there is a feeling of this person. Um, there's an energy of them that's number one. This person may be older or they may have more life experience this person just feels like they have a good amount of life experience in their life so in their life life experience in their life so with authority here this person is someone who's very projects out to the world that they're very sure of themselves um there's an energy with authority that this person knows who they are and is even somewhat protective of other people or there's a there's this energy of them um feeling like they have to protect people or guide people. Um, there's this energy of them being someone who's kind of like parent-like. This could be someone who's a parent. It doesn't have to be, but there's an energy of them having this feeling of wanting to help people not have to go through what they've gone through, if that makes sense. And so with this inside looking out, there's a feeling of this person, um, taking things seriously and almost playing things so safe that they almost miss out in life or that they uh, don't really, it's not that they don't follow their own advice. It's like there's a feeling of them having this persona of 
protecting people and playing things safely and um, kind of advising other people though. Um, okay, I'm just, so what, what I'm getting is that this person almost projects this image of being very uh, self, being um, sure of themselves. Does that make sense? They feel like they know a lot um, and it, they're just, just energy of them taking themselves very seriously. Um, but almost with inside looking out, it's like, I feel like they don't, they almost feel like they know a lot or they have um, been through so much that there's nothing else to learn in a way. That's kind of like what I'm picking up on. And so with this hypocrite energy, it's not that negative or as this card also came out in pile one, but like that person, like it, it felt different in that reading. It's more like this person maybe doesn't realize how they hold themselves back or they, um, there's this, I'm trying to get this across because I have the feeling of it, but it's like kind of hard to word, but, but I'll, I'll get it out. Um, so with the hypocrite's energy, it's like this person expects other people, for some of you guys, projects this feeling of other people not needing to go through, of knowing what's best for people, even though the way that they learned their lessons and became so sure of themselves and became so strong in their identity is by making mistakes and having done their own journey, you know? Um, and it's almost like there's this energy of, actually, I, I just want to explain, there's almost this feeling of them maybe projecting that they do know a lot or they have a lot of knowledge and they have a lot of like um, experience in something, but there's almost a feeling of them thinking that they know more than they do or trying to learn things without even being involved in things. I hope that makes sense. But there is just a feeling of this person projecting out this, this like knowledge or authority about um, certain things. And maybe you, you know with this person, maybe you guys like, maybe this person tries to advise you or tries to give you like their opinions, gives their takes for you. And it's almost like they're coming in with good intentions with doing that. But it's almost like this energy of like, you can't really say that or like, I don't know why you're taking yourself so seriously in that if you haven't really been through that yourself. And so there's almost this energy of this person feeling like they know more than they do, but with good intention. Um, this is almost coming through as like more of a parent, um, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but there's an energy here of this person learning a lot of what they know through observation and almost wanting it's coming through I keep going back and forth in my mind you guys and it's kind of confusing because it's coming through like either this person is someone who is trying to protect you and other people um by giving you advice um and they're taking their role really seriously but there's this energy of either they have already ventured through life and gone through a lot of mistakes and done their things and are kind of wanting you to go to not have to do that. Or they almost are expecting you to learn the same lessons or have the same sense of authority. Um, even though, you know, it's the hypocrite's energy is coming through in the sense that either this person has already had a lot of experiences and that's where they got their authority from. And they're almost trying to protect you by wanting you to like maybe follow in their footsteps or, or take the heed their advice before they really, before you have the opportunity to experience yourself, experience it for yourself, you know? And so there's almost a little bit of a controlling element or a feeling of this person controlling your experience or trying to assert their authority over you. Um, instead of you having to, um, go through the struggles yourself but there's almost an energy of it like them needing to stop taking things so seriously or taking life so seriously or taking their role so seriously with this joke this trickster energy it's almost like they have such good intentions with it but there is this feeling of them overstepping like almost trying to control a little bit too much or feeling like their experience and their authority should be what other people follow or to protect them though okay so that was a lot, but I'm trying to think about the other way that I was seeing it, which is um, maybe this person tries to project their authority and their knowledge onto experiences and 
talk about things that they don't really know a lot about. And so it's almost like this energy of like, I'm sorry, but like, you can't like just act like you know this, or you can't project that onto me. It's like, there's a need for, um, with this movement and then death in reverse, there's almost a feeling of them having within them their own fears and their own like issues that kind of cause them to be protective over, over other people or try to assert their wisdom or something. It's almost like this energy of like, you don't even know. So like, why are you giving me this advice or why are you projecting like your opinion onto me almost like with this, this person, this person just comes off this way as, as this person who's very much taking themselves seriously and almost looks silly because it's like either they're trying to have someone learn something in a way that they didn't even learn it or they have no expertise in something, but they're almost acting like they do. Okay. So, um, there's this element of them being cautious and also with it gets better. I almost want to clarify this with the tarot card because I'm not exactly sure what's coming through with it. It gets better in movement. Movement. Oh, okay. No, what I'm getting from that is um, this person almost has adopted this fearful mindset within life and projects that out to other people um, and kind of expects them to follow the same or they think that that is what's right. But it's almost like this person fails to see that by continuing to move and continuing to do life it naturally gets better over time and this person may not really they may have some sort of pain in the past or they may um have had something happen to them where it's like they really they're having a hard time trusting and just go, just being natural and going out in the world and doing it and they're almost like projecting that um fear within this kind of lack of ability to go with the flow and kind of being rigid within what they participate in and, and uh, maybe even judgment of what other people are doing in their life. It's like there's this energy of this person coming off as someone that has a hard time just being and being free and being um, acting with no inhibitions. It's like this person got, comes from a good place, but they maybe lack to see sometimes how it doesn't really make sense for them to they almost don't see that it's their own fears that are causing them to be that way. And then they're kind of projecting their, their wisdom onto other people to where it's just like almost not helpful or necessary. Um, so this is a very interesting pile. I'm curious if you guys are resonating with this. This definitely could be like, this could be a friend. This could be an older partner of yours. Like if, if you're like with someone, this could definitely be, I'm just getting this as someone who feels like they may have an authority over you or feels like they, maybe have more wisdom than you, you know, it's kind of, that's the way that's coming off. And it's almost like kind of can rub people the wrong way or rub you the wrong way. Cause it's kind of like, can you just like not take yourself so seriously? Like I appreciate your, I appreciate the, um, thought behind it, but like, I don't, I don't want to follow exactly what you did and I'm developing my own inner sense of authority. So like, let me kind of do that. Um, yeah. Interesting vibe. Very interesting. Okay. Um, let's get some tarot now to kind of dive deeper into this. You guys have to let me know. Um, oh my gosh, kick the camera. Sorry. And by the way, I'm sorry that the camera is um, like jiggling or shaking. Um, I have the AC on and I just have no way to fix it. I have no solution for it right now. So I hope it's not too distracting. Um, but anyways, Spirit, please tie me in for pile four. Um, what is the impression that this person projects into the world or gives off to others? What is the impression? All right. We have the six of wands. Yeah, there's this energy of a lot of confidence about this person. It's like they feel like they know. They're just a little bit overconfident of their viewpoint too, though. Let's get some more. And you see the way this person's like kind of like uh, flexing their muscles. The emperor in reverse and then the page of swords in reverse. Also with the Hierophant in reverse. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, again, I'm going to go here because this is just the vibes that I'm getting. So the impression that this person gives off or the way that you may like kind of feel about them is like, they're a little bit too controlling or too, um, sure that their way is the right way with the Hierophant in reverse. It could be that this person, um, 
is has very unique views and has adopted a very like independent version of what they think things should be like and it may kind of contradict society or it may just be very like specific to them and their experiences um and they may have found success too is kind of what i'm getting with um in their life they may be someone who has found success but i almost feel like there's this energy of them being so um rigid within that that with this page of swords in reverse it's almost like they don't listen to new information or they kind of discount the beginner's mindset or the benefits of the beginner's mindset is what i'm getting so this could be like a teacher you guys this could be a boss this could be like anyone you guys like in your life this also could just be like a significant other that has this like personality but um i am getting with this page of swords in reverse it's like there's almost an overconfidence that their way is the right way and a little bit too much control thinking that everyone should be like that. Um, when maybe they don't really know truthfully what pe other people really need, you know, cause ever everyone's different and it's almost like they have a hard time taking in new information. This could be apparent, you guys. Um, why is the six of wands here? Temperance. And why is the Page of Swords here in reverse? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay. And then at the back of the deck, it's the Page of Pentacles here in reverse. Scoot it over a little bit. Um, I don't think it's going to fit in the view, but... All right, so the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it's almost like there's this feeling that they have where they just feel like they are not very good at accepting that they don't control everything and also accepting that change is inevitable and new perspectives coming through are inevitable. Um, and also with the pages, with the wheel of fortune in reverse, it's like, there's this feeling that they know what's best almost over the universe or over other people or over the entire collective, you know, and it's not even coming through in this like extremely like, narcissistic way is more just coming through in this way where like maybe this person actually does have experience in something where they have been successful and they have found balance within themselves and they, and they have maybe gotten recognition but there's almost a need for them to not project that onto other people or feel like they know everything because of that um and there's a need to understand that each person within themselves gets to pick their own beliefs and there's no one right way to beliefs also like the way that this person is. And um, I feel like this person holds themselves back from getting along with different types of people almost because of this kind of naive belief like that they know best. And I'm hearing mother knows best. And there's so, again, that's coming through because, and so this is why this could be a parent relationship or I don't know if you have a significant other that's like this, that's older or something. Um, you know, in like, uh, in Entangled, the mom is like very much suppressing the, and this is also kind of reminding me, um, hang on, my thing just went low better so I can't see it. Okay. And this is kind of reminding me of, um, Tangled or, or Rapunzel. Is it Rapunzel? Let down your hair. Like the person with the long hair. Um, it, there's just this energy of this person trying to be protective over you even, um, but it's almost like they're limiting your experience and they're not trusting you to go through your own process um, is what I'm feeling about this. And they almost want to help you avoid disaster, um, but they're almost not, they're keep, there's this element of keeping you stagnant, um, you know, keeping you stagnant almost. And this death card in reverse, I'm almost getting like the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. There's almost this element of this person um, really feeling like they have like a secret manual to life or something like where it's like almost like this person feels a little bit too invincible in a way. Um, and there's just a need for them to protect you. That's like, I feel like what I'm picking up on, but then there also is this suppressive energy of not letting you develop your own opinions and your own identity and your own sense of authority and them just being very closed off to um what you have to say or like what other people have to say um yeah and there's almost this energy of them having a difficult time weighing in 
So with this temperance here, it's almost making me feel like this person almost feels like they want to avoid chaos. And so it's almost like the way of keeping things calm and keeping things under control is by missing out on opportunities and not challenging yourself and not letting people fail so they can learn. It's like understanding that you in temperance, it's like to learn temperance, you have to go all the way up and you have to go all the way down and you know, just find a balance. It's almost like this person is projecting this idea of trying to protect you by not having you have to experience those ups and downs. But Spirit's saying like with this movement, this, it gets better. It's like life is about that. And so if this person is kind of trying to control your experience or feel like they know the right thing for you, there's just this energy of them like, I'm almost saying like need to, needing to like calm down. You know what I mean? Like stop taking yourself so seriously. But um, yeah. Okay. So if this resonates for you guys, I'm very curious to hear from you um, what, what you felt about it. But um, I am going to now pull some Oracle cards off camera just to save time. Um, about this person's inner truth and like what's actually going on with them um, Maybe get a better understanding of where they're coming from because I almost feel like this person may even like slightly rub you the wrong way Especially when they're projecting this energy towards you. So I'll be right back Okay No time has passed for you guys, but I have um, pulled out some Oracle cards to look into your person's authentic truth, what is honestly going on with them, what their true energy is um, behind what they're projecting out. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to get into it. This has been like a very unexpected pile, but you know, I'm here for it. So we have the moon. We have duende. We have shark and bee. I want these together. In reverse. Party leader. In reverse. Frustration and protection. And then we have birth as well. Let's get these situated. Okay. So I'm definitely going to want to clarify more with tarot because this is an interesting energy. I guess I just wasn't expecting this. But um, what's coming through as this person's honest truth, um, honest internal truth, it, it feels like there's almost a lot that this person doesn't address and fears of their own that they seem to not be aware of with this shark here. And when the shark's energy is here, it can kind of show someone a situation or this element of there being an elephant in the room or something that this person isn't addressing within themselves and with the B here in reverse there's an element of them maybe hyper focusing on certain elements in their life um in order to avoid um fears that they have and things that they're not really ready to address within themselves um, and so with this protection, it's almost like they really protect themselves from their own fears is what I'm getting. Um, and with this frustration and this be in reverse here, there's almost a feeling here of them potentially, um, having to have sacrificed fun and, um, genuine expression. I don't know if this person themselves had parents that were like, very restrictive on them or this feeling that they had to really like put their head down and grow up quickly. That was one, I forgot that was one of the first things that came through when I saw the, the deer, but there's this energy of this person that, that maybe they had to, um, kind of not have as much fun in life and maybe they weren't able to follow their, their creativity and their passions. And there's almost this something within them that they've repressed and, there's a resentment in a, in a, in an, almost like a, not like a artistic and fun frustration within them. It's like they haven't let themselves let loose and, um, it, maybe they were overprotected as a kid or something, but there's just this element of them having not been able to explore things in life that could have been really fun for them. Um, and maybe having to work really hard at a certain age. And so maybe they're, they are very accomplished at this age, or maybe they have built a lot for themselves, but I feel like what this person is missing is, yeah. So I almost feel like just to clarify, I'm getting more that this person, it's not that they've gone through all the experiences. It's almost that they themselves have had to miss out on things 
and they've gotten to some level of success via that route. And so they may have opinions on others that they should have to do the same thing. And so sometimes when we've been forced to repress um, things within ourselves or someone's told us that certain things are wrong, then if we've kind of gone through that like torture in a way, not torture, that's like too intense, but like that sadness, that, that hurt that that is, that frustration of having to repress things about yourself, then when you see someone else who's like openly expressing that aspect, you can very much feel like they're wrong and you may want to attack them because it's triggering for you to see someone else, you know, being more spontaneous and getting to explore more and do more. And when this person deep down has missed out on things with this party leader in reverse, um, and they've missed out on spontaneity and following their heart and being free. And this is one of their biggest subconscious it's very much something that they try to suppress and not look at. It's like with this shark here, it's like such a big part of them. Um, whenever the hypocrite comes out, I'm starting to learn that that tends to be someone who isn't addressing their shadow. You know, a lot of times people can become hypocrites when they're not self-aware of their own shadows kind of. And so this person, while they mean well, they do seem to be suppressing something within themselves and they haven't really let themselves give birth is what I'm getting to, to certain creative things that would have been really fun for them or different experiences that really would have been great for them. And it's not too late, you know what I mean? But it's almost like they have taken on such a strong perspective of what is right and wrong. And um, there's just this element of frustration within themselves that they then project onto other people and try to kind of like project what they're going through even though they're not as happy as they could be they don't want to admit that they're wrong in this and they don't want to admit that maybe they have really missed out and maybe everything that they've kind of missed out on maybe it wasn't worth it you know um and so there's just this element of this person because they don't want to look at this the pain that's kind of there when you realize that they missed out or they repress certain genuine feelings that they've had and um, urges to sort of explore more fun things and maybe let themselves loose and create in this life, like do other things besides what they're doing. Um, it's almost like they have a hard time accepting that anyone that is living their life in a different way is also valid because they have pain. If they had to accept that other people were valid in their own way, then they'd have to admit to themselves that they'd have to face the pain of having missed out. And what makes them feel better is clinging onto the idea that this was the best thing, way they could have lived their life. And so there's just this feeling of them projecting that onto you, okay? So let's go a little bit deeper into this. They're like suppressing something within themselves. It's like they may even have their own creative ideas or feelings of wanting to explore. And I feel like that's where hypocrite comes in in another way is because it's almost like this person also shares the same desire for exploration and change and fun in their life that you do, but they kind of try to act like it's wrong, which is, you know, a little bit hypocritical because I feel like they maybe maybe they sort of try to repress that part of you or tell you that that's wrong in a way of like protecting you, but it's kind of like they also feel that way. It's just kind of like they're trying to pretend like that isn't the case. So what else can we clarify about pile four's genuine truth? Oh, okay. Um, I am going to take this eight of cups that flipped over here in reverse. Yeah, there's this energy of them never having, they have been forced to work and invest themselves in things that they did not truly find emotionally fulfilling. And it is something that they really, um, that is a regret of theirs even. So we have the, I don't know if it's, it doesn't feel like it's consciously a regret. It's something that they're running away from. We have the wheel of fortune. Um, yeah. And then also the seven of pentacles. Um, it's not there, but anyways, and I saw the king cups in reverse, but we have the wheel of fortune in refer reverse. What is this person's truth here? 
the five of wands in reverse. The king of cups. They haven't been able to explore their more emotional and artistic and free-flowing part of themselves. And there's a part of them that really wants that. We have the moon again. It's like kept, it's like this feeling that like is never leaves them of this unfulfillment and this feeling of they have more potential that they haven't explored. And if they don't acknowledge that, they really can't change it. But let's get more. Let's get one more, please, for this person's truth. This pile four is person's authentic truth here. The eight of pentacles here in reverse and the ace of swords um, in reverse. So I got to shift it over and do one more. That's what always happens. Um, yeah. And the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay, so what I'm picking up on, um, there's this energy about this person where they are too afraid to change now because they would have to admit that they, number one, like aren't perfect and they are still have room to fail and experiment in life. It's almost like this energy of them wanting to claim that they, that they don't need these things like exploration and like, you know, they almost push away new experiences and new information um, without realizing that they're really suppressing a part of them that still wants to create something and wants to be more open to their artistic side and their more free flowing watery energy. Um, but this person is so afraid of change and so afraid of admitting that maybe they're afraid. Um, they're, there's this energy of them not doing this or not, not like not letting themselves realize it's like right under their nose, almost like what's causes them so much frustration. They, they basically accept this feeling of underlying frustration that they very much feel because it gives them this sense of security with this protection here and this sense of um, feeling that they haven't missed out in life. And, but, but deep down, they feel like they have. And so in the way that they try to handle those feelings, I feel like that's something that projects out to you. And they may kind of try to shame other people that are doing what they didn't have the necessarily the courage or they don't have the courage to do. Um, and there's an element of them, this not being fair that they do this, you know? And almost like this person feeling like they have such clarity about, there's such a less, there's such a feeling here of this person wanting to guide you to tell you how to um, build like your 10 of pentacles, how to leave your legacy. And so I feel like this person, again, has built some sort of legacy for themselves potentially, but they don't know the only way to do this. And they have this false sense of security or false sense of, um, this false notion that the way that they created it and the sacrifices they made are the only way to get there because they don't want to admit that they could have maybe followed a different passion and just been as financially successful. I feel like this is someone who very much sacrificed a lot and has really suppressed an inner needs of their own, especially their inner child and has very much sacrificed what they've actually wanted in life maybe because someone told them to do it that way or someone told them that's how you're going to be successful. But it's really hard for them to, to process the fact that there are different opinions about this and there are different truths. Like your truth isn't the only truth. And they just have this energy of very much pretending like that isn't the case because they have their own shadows and their own fears that they don't, that they're too afraid to look at, you know, but it very much boils over into how they perceive other people um, and this lack of understanding of themselves because they're not willing to real to 
validate others validate that other people's way is also valid and potentially can lead to just as much success financially or in whatever way and there are ways to go about life where you follow your heart and you you decide what's true for you and usually following following your heart is the best way to do that but i just feel like with this king of cups and this eight of cups in reverse they didn't they weren't able to do that and they didn't do it you know what i mean or at some point it could have been because someone shame them for thinking about doing that and then they kind of kept their nose down and like with this bee just got busy and just like worked worked work but they weren't happy when they were doing that and i feel like this person has this inner artist to them or this inner calling that they didn't follow and this feeling of what could have been or or with this eight of pentacles in reverse here it's like this energy of like i don't even want to look at that possibility because they almost try to tell themselves that that is impossible, even though it is, you know, and they kind of know that. So they're just at this fight within themselves about how they live their life, um, the right way to go about your life, that authority card coming back, and this projection onto other people because they can't handle other people's ways because then they have to admit that their way isn't the only way and then they have to kind of mourn that truth but it would be better if they did that now so they can at least explore it within whatever time they have left in this lifetime but there's an energy of them making excuses or continuing to keep this in the dark as well um and again refusing to accept change and different ways of doing things and even changing times that's why it makes me feel like this person's older is like there's this element of them very much wanting to suppress the natural changes of like the world and the way that we're getting more progressive and the way that we're changing things. It's almost like this energy of like them trying to hold down this like more liberal energy, this more like free flowing energy, even though within themselves, that's what literally exactly would make them happy. But they've suppressed it so much that they now are trying to suppress it in the society and in people and in you and in people they know. It's like they're very stubborn about it too. And they lack this awareness and I, and I don't know if this person will do this kind of work on themselves. It feels like they're very set in their ways. So yeah, this is a very interesting reading. You guys have to let me know if this resonated or like if you guys are okay with sharing like who this was about. Um, I'm just very curious. Um, but if you, this did resonate and you found it interesting, please do hit the like button. It really supports my channel and I really appreciate it. Um, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'll be posting two um, pick a card readings every single week. So I'm hoping to see you at the next one and I hope you have a great rest of your day.